When it comes to the entertainment industry, there's been a lot of noise about the lack of diversity on the big screen, especially when it comes to lead roles. Director and producer Ernesto and actor Danny De La Paz are here trying to change the narrative, and they're on a mission to encouraging young Latinos to work in Hollywood. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, yes, thank you for being here. This is an important conversation. Let's first start with your journey. How did you get sure. into the industry? So I started as an actor myself, and I did theater, and I got an agent, and for about two years I did that. And it was very challenging and upsetting to know that every audition I went out for was a stereotypical role. Right. Gangsters, plumber, you know, bartender, those kind of things. And I just quickly learned that if I wanted some control and power, then I'd have to, you know, learn behind, get behind the scenes. Yeah. And that's, that's what I did. Yeah. And I think a lot of um, young kids, like you said yourself, you want to be in this industry, but all you see are the people who are on the screen. Sure. What was that transition like to uh, being, becoming behind the, sure. the screen? So it's a really small percentage of the people in front of the screen and unfortunately behind the screen as well. It's like there's 3% of Latinos that are being represented. In the last 15 years of films, that's all we've had. Mm -hmm. But the transition was empowering because now I get to tell my stories, right? Yeah. I have the control and I have my own production company. So I get to tell the stories I want to tell on my own time. And, but you always need the funds. And that's why we involve people like Martin Cabrera, who brought us out here from mm -hmm. Los Angeles. Okay, you we'll know. talk about the project that sure, you're working course, out on here in Chicago in just a second. But to continue our conversation, it's awesome seeing people like Gina Rodriguez, Sofia Vergara, in these, um, and Andy Garcia in these yeah. roles that aren't stereotypical Latino roles. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really nice. And they do represent us in, as best as they could, but they're also under the control of the studios. Yeah, So yeah. whatever script's handed to them, uh, although some of them, like Eva Langoria and Gina Rodriguez, they are making a change to try to try to represent us Latinos in a positive light, yeah. you know, an authentic manner. So yeah. Danny, you're an actor and you're actually in the play, The Last Angry Brown Hat. Tell mm -hmm. us about the play, your role, and uh, how you got here. It's a play written by a, a very talented writer and film director named Alfredo Ramos, who's from Los Angeles. And it's about four friends who um, were part of a political organization in the early 70s called the Brown Beret and they haven't seen each other for about two decades, about 20 years. And in the play, it takes place in 1993, they're having a reunion after one of their friends passes away. They gather at a, at a house in a garage, and the four of them have a, a little reunion after 20 years. Yeah. So that's what the play, that's where the, the, the play, what, what the play is about and where it takes place. And this play is being performed at Back of the Yards College Prep. Why did you guys choose that neighborhood? I mean, you probably could have gotten a big theater downtown or something of yeah, the sort. Yeah, yeah. So Martin Cabrera, again, I mentioned him earlier, he brought us here and it was important for him to, um, to bring this play to an impoverished community of, of students that usually don't see this kind of work. So. Mm -hmm. That, that mattered to him and that matters to us as well. Yeah. yeah, we have to wrap, but Danny, what would you like to see the industry? How would you like to see it move forward? I would just like to see more people like Ernie come up and yes. uh, who can make things happen in terms of us telling our stories. Mm -hmm. yeah. And need... that way we can show ourselves in the way that we want to represent. Certainly, more Latinos, more people of color Behind in the, the decision-making roles. Yeah, yes. decision-making sure. And that's exactly why it's so true. important for you to be sure. here and show yourself who is sure. a writer, a director, producer, a person right. making decisions. That's we right. hope that our play and the film and his documentary that he's going to show will inspire people when they come and see both of them Certainly. while we're here. Thank you guys for being Thank here. Thank you. Important. The Last Angry Brown Hat runs today through Sunday at Back of the Yards College Prep High School. The entrance is free. The entry is free, but you have to register through their Eventbrite, okay? All info will be on thejamtvshow.com. You can find it on that website.